Well, good afternoon. <laughs> it's finally stopped raining here at Katrine House, so Jill and I have come out for a little wander. First thing we noticed was a great big pile of licorice marshmallows, the massive ones. Excellent those. There's not many on site at the minute, but uh, one of the things we found is the chemical dump. That's it. Lifty lid job. Don't lose your. Uh, you don't want to lose any of your cups, but got all you need really. Chemical disposal rinsing is what it says. Excellent. Comes out to a. Uh... Oh, hello. So we wander down towards reception. This is just down here. It's across grass, as you can see, to get to the chemical dispersal point. And this would be one of the pitches, I think, is it? Yeah. Yes, electrics over there, turning up jobs. And this one comes complete with picnic benches around here. We didn't get a picnic bench. Wouldn't have exactly used it, would we? No. We're out now because there's apparently a half hour gap in the rainfall. So we've come to get some fresh air. Yes. So, as you come in, it's more or less where our video left off after everything died. Mm -hmm. It says arrivals, please park here and report the log cabin. This would appear to be, well, is the log cabin. Good looking fellow in the window will not be there when you get here, probably. I'll be somewhere else. In the log cabin. Which is open 24-7. Say that again, love. Which is open 24-7. It is. Yeah. 24-7. 24 hours a day, all the time. And this is it, in here. Do come along. This would be the reception desk. These are the two takeaways. And there's menus there to take away as it happens. With a couple of blackboards on the wall telling you where you can go, which is good. Then over here are two showers. Is that one the ladies one, love? I shall wander into the gentleman's one then. Nobody in. This is it. Step you up to get into it. But it looks alright. Nothing flash particularly. But there you go. I would imagine the ladies is more or less the same. I'll waddle into the gents. This it's all automatic lighting as well, which I like. No need to touch anything. Oh look, wood panels, laboratory. Couple of urinals, two sinks, and a jet hand hair dryer. Hand dry, hair dryer? Hand dryer. So yes. Then in here is the, what would you call it? A lounge, communal area, mm -hmm. log burning stove, mm -hmm. little radio going, telly over there, mm -hmm. videos you can get. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. Ladies' toilets, two off on this side, very clean. Very clean, hand dryer, disabled toilet and baby changing. Yeah, automatic lights when you go in. Spotlessly clean. Spotless, is it? Yeah. Ladies shower, which I'm presuming is exactly the same as the gents. 
again, clean. Can't even see a hair out of place. Yep. All good. Mm -hmm. There's a map of the, the site. Well, whether it's in focus, whether I'm too near or... This is Recepticon. Yeah. That's where we are. Yep. So, all of that round there. And then you've got two here. Yep. 21. 23 in, in total. Is it 23? Oh yes, 23. Yeah. There, it says 23. Yeah. I can't read. Chemical disposal with being two. Yeah. Yep. Some of the pictures are level. Well, some are going to be, some are not, aren't they? But at this time of year, they'll know what, how many is coming. And there's only two on site. It's starting to rain. And it starts to rain, so we'll go back round this way. The sheep are out anyway. See again? I'll say the sheep are still out. Oh, yes. Well, they've got <coughs> waterproof woolly jumpers, you know. Mm-hmm. Or is it the cheaper waterproof woolly jumpers? Yeah. If you want to go down the river, uh, down the river, down the path to the river, which I would love to do, but I don't have my wellies, and I would think I would get drenched. You just go through that gate there, by the bin, the right of the bin, and keep left. And off you go. Uh, you probably find quite a well-worn path down there. Yeah, the rain's starting again now, so there we go. As you can see, it's quite puddly. Pretty wet. But he does have a tractor, should we need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. Right, trying again, I wasn't going to give up. Through the field, down this. It's exceptionally wet. You really need wellies on at the moment, but because we're going home tomorrow, I'm not too worried about getting the boots absolutely sodden. Uh, unless they can dry out when we get home. It'll be lovely in the summer. I do have my walking sticks with me as well. So uh, that's a plus. See you at the bottom, hopefully. Here we are at the bottom. There's a couple of gates to go through, but you can see how much water is running down from the hills and the, the river is running very, very quickly. Uh, I'm going to go over to the little bridge. Private road keep out, that's one of the, the ones that the owner was saying to disregard if you're staying here and I believe in the summer now it's all making sense you can camp down here which will be rather rather nice but we'll go on to the bridge and see what we can see from there it's just around this corner board here which presumably gives you some idea of oh it's all sorts of different walks around here there way river for the river walk not sure what's happening there the main road that you can see from the campsite is up there with the blue, the blue railings and this is the river, the river air I believe which is running quite quickly
Right, we're going to see if I can see a little bit more of the campsite. Right, there are lots of flat campsites, camp pitchers rather, the tents down by the, the riverside. One just in front of me here. A few more either side of the, the path, which I believe you can bring vehicles down in the summer. Which would be rather picturesque. Another one here, obviously covered in leaves at the moment. And up in the distance, I don't know whether you can see a, a shed. Well, that's actually a toilet. With pictures out of sight. Don't know how you get on with my, uh, with uh, midges and all of that. It'd be rather nice. Lots of evidence of open fires, which are obviously allowed. Right, I'm going to go back up to that top road now and walk along the path. I don't know that I'm going to attempt to walk back up where I came down with all that mud. But I do believe this top path uh, is a public right of way and I think it comes out on the road just down the road from the campsite. So I think we'll give that a try. Right, this is the entrance to Catering House, private estate. Uh, and if you see the white gate there, that's the gate I've just come up through. That's the path, which is much easier when it's a bit soggy like it is today than going through down through the field. Uh, but either way, my feet aren't too bad. My socks are feeling a bit damp. The boots used to be waterproof, but I think they've seen the, the last of their walking days, to be honest. And then up we go through here, which you've already seen. So that was quite a nice little walk. That's his dog. It's only about half a mile. I thought, you could, but you can go a lot further. But even though the weather's been inclement, I've really enjoyed the walks. David's been out on a few short ones, but that one's probably a little bit steep there at the moment. His hips being what they are, but never mind. We'll get there. That's the other way down to recycling in the walled garden where the dump truck is. They seem to house a lot of caravans, storage I'm presuming. Not a bad place to store your caravan. And I do believe this is a like a little garden centre. They're currently closed. But they do have a an online presence. They have a new web shop, Green Farm it's called. Plant Centre Catering House. I'm just going to keep this running a little bit longer until I get back to this bottom corner. Because yesterday when I went for a walk the manager, the owner, said through the gate and keep left. So I did. But I think what he meant was keep left of the sheep. Which I didn't. Well, I did, but from, from a long distance. But I did see this morning a white peg out. And for anybody who might be coming, Get the right walk in first time. 
Safe journey. <laughs> so it's through this gate here, to the left, through the, there's a gap in the wooden fence. But if you can see just to the left of the big tree, but further towards the dip, that's where you need to be aiming for. Because that little ravine that I walked down is just on the other side of, of that white peg there. Uh, you can just see in the grass where it's been trodden. Couldn't see that yesterday, but he has been down in his fall before, whatever you call them, dumpers before wheels on. Uh, but there you go. Right. See you later. Well, hello, dear Fia. I'm Jill. And it's Saturday. It is. It is. Uh, it's our last night here at uh, Katrine House. Yes. And tomorrow we are supposed to be hurtling off down to the old post office at Santon Bridge in Cumbria mm -hmm. near Homebrook. Homebrook? Homebrook. Um, five miles away from sea scale, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But as you may or may not know, if you can remember that far back, because you'll be watching this long after we've recorded it, um, there's been floods and what have you in Cumbria. Now, we've rung the place twice and had no reply, but on the Cumbria Council Police Road Closures This Is What's Happening website, turns out that the road that the campsite on is closed impassable due to flooding at the very point where the site is. So mm -hmm. we're assuming, rightly or wrongly, that it's underwater, so we're not going to go. So tomorrow... It's not just there either, there's, there's hold-ups on the A7... 595. Yeah. It's hold-up on, on the A76. If we try to go down through Dumfries, we'll be wading through God knows how much water. Mm -hmm. So we've come to the conclusion that uh, this is a sign. Well, yeah, it, it, it's a difficult decision, but at the end of the day, we're not going to put ourselves at risk. We're not going to put Vandromeda at risk. No. On Andromeda, for that matter. Either of them. Um, and, you know, if they don't get back to us, we booked it on pitch up. We did. And you're supposed to be able to change the booking within the, the same year. But we haven't heard anything back from them. Um, I mean, I appreciate they've got and, a lot of fish oh, to I, fry. It, there's no yeah, two ways yeah, about it. Yeah. And that's fine. But rather than chance it, we'd, we'd, we're going to go home. Yeah, that's um, what I was going to say. It's you know, if you lose the money, we've we've lost, you know, the money. I just don't um, fancy water getting in <clears> through the habitation door and wrecking it. Well, no, because there's yeah, it, and it and it would by the looks of the photographs, the the depth of the water that people are driving through is coming over there. Yeah, bottom it's sill. just not worth it. And we're not going to take the risk. It's so, silly. so there we're you go. Home. So this this will be mm -hmm. the last. Probably uh, the last kind of what do you call it on on site on pitch mm. video uh, of this series. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope so. We have, haven't we? Oh, I've had a whale of a time. We will do a roundup of it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll sit down in the comfort of a gin or five mm -hmm. and uh, talk you through what's been going on. And uh, that'll be about the size of it, I think. Yeah. That, but that'll come later on. So mm -hmm. as we say, we hope you've enjoyed it all. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. But until then, enjoy the roads if they're not flooded. Oh, quite. Enjoy the skies if they're not raining. But most of all, enjoy, enjoy your lives. lives. See you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.